day 286 since the alien strike. Only known number of survivors? Six. No discovered fertile land. Known alien affected area? 90,000 square kilometers. I don't remember a time when my brother Archibald and I weren't close. But when the aliens struck down... The whole world became an uninhabitable wasteland. The oxygen in the air became low. Many people died within a week. I've just been informed that an alien race has touched down 20 kilometers from the city. We've yet to discover whether these extraterrestrials are friend or sick. The aliens somehow shifted our atmosphere to the one on their home planet. Samuel, he's the owner of this contained safe haven we've learned to call home. Trixie's some army vet, she's teaching us to defend ourselves. No one really knows much about John. No one really wants to ask. And then there's my little angel, Lulu. Her dad ran her here to keep her safe when he started having trouble breathing. She saw the whole thing. She's my little soldier. The group goes out trekking every day in search of fertile land. But my brother and I, we have a secret. I mean, it, it sure is beautiful out here. Yeah. Sure is. Becoming more real now. The fear's growing, but so is the want to know the truth about me and my brother. We need you to track your message. It's important. All right, all right. just give me a sec. The message was sent from here. It's in a highly populated alien territory. We haven't even tried getting close to these areas. We don't know what we'll find. <laughs> well, we're not going in guns blazing. Hold on. Come on, Samuel. Are you even suggesting what I think you are? We are not going in there. It's an alien hotbed. We'll definitely get killed for sure. You must be crazy. It's the only chance we've got. Of what? Death? He's right. Thank you. No. 
Samuel. He oh, come on, right. Trixie. John, take a look around and tell me what you see. Do you know what I see? I see four non-combatants. One of whom is a glorified IT tech. Another who is an eight-year-old girl. We have no engineering staff, no medical personnel. The second the air filter breaks, or someone gets sick, or some of the food goes bad, we are all gonna die. And plus, I mean, it's, it's our father, right? This means something. I mean, how does he even know we're here? Look, he's trying to reach out, can't you see that? Oh, stop being so naive. Have you guys ever thought that maybe these aliens are onto us? That this is a trap and they want us to go the there? The message said we're their only hope. Meaning, there's more of us. There's more survivors. Felicity, the message also said we've got to get out, and we're going to do just that. We are not going there, and that's final. So I guess this is my last log. I don't know why, but I need to go. It's calling me. Something doesn't seem right. I don't know what will happen out there. Anything can happen now, but I need answers. All I can say is, if we die, at least we went down fighting. We won't give up. We won't stop trying. And we will take back our home. Take back our lives. We won't concede to this anarchy. We won't be a part of the treachery. If there are other survivors out there, hear us. Know what we did. We will not become extinct. Lulu? What are you doing here? I want to protect Felicity. Oh, Lulu.
don't say that, Archie. Look, I mean, it's crazy how we, we haven't come across an alien yet, right? Maybe we should be grateful. Have I ever told you about Murphy's Law, Archie? Go on, tell me, what is it? The first principle of Murphy's Law. Get down! Thank you.